you guys live farmer 73 here just a quick short real quick i wanted to show you guys this i got a lot of requests for this a while back and i'm just now doing a video on it i'm out here cutting my grass and i'm about to run out of gas so my tractor takes a three gallon tank how am i going to fill the three gallon tank either you can keep dumping other gallons in and making a big mess or you can use this so this is the duramax pumping station this really works really great a uh, 14 gallon tank that everybody was asking me about during the gas crisis so what you do with here you fill this whole thing up 14 gallons of fuel so you don't have to worry about it you lay it on its back like this now you have two shutoff valves right here both of these valves need to be in line with the holes if you shut open that one up turn it now that's open open this one up a secondary now that's open now the fuel can flow freely through the tube from here you want to stand it up like this okay it has wheels so you can pull it all around with you and it has a pumping handle from here i'm going to show you how this works okay you can do this one or two different ways if you have something head, uh, higher up to sit this on you will be able to use this through gravity feed okay if this is higher up than this pump is wherever you pump into the gravity will catch it and you won't have to pump it but this is 14 gallons of flammable fuel i suggest to anybody do not do that so this has a feature in it that works just as well to me and just as fast and I'm gonna show you that right now. First thing we're gonna do is take our pump and put it where we're going to put it in, whatever can or reservoir we plan on putting it in. Make sure your engine is cut off. Now, right here we have a vent. That vent lets the air flow through this thing. See how it's sucked in right now? Because I've had the vent closed. So we're gonna open that and you should hear it breathe. <laughs> Watch it in front. Now that we have our vent open, make sure again we have our valves going in the line of the tube. They're ready to flow. So now what we do is take our pump station and there's a safety notch behind here. We're going to push that in and now we can pump freely. So this is what we do. Just keep pumping until the fuel catches up. You can see it now. Now we're cooking with gas. So with each pump, you're gonna get gas with each pump. So you don't have to pump it fast because the slower you go, the bigger gulps of gas it takes. So this is how it works. It's literally a pumping station and it will have this tank filled up in no time. Okay, I'm about full now. The best part about that pump is there's no mess. Usually you got a big mess around here and splashes all over your engine that could be a hazard. With that pumping station, it's just like you going to the gas station. That's it. No mess, no moisture, no wetness, no fuel anywhere. You are not smelling like fuel. You don't got to pull out the old fuel rag or anything. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to lean this back. And now we're just going to do everything in reverse. Hold your pump up. We're going to lay our tank back down. Want to hit the pump on here so all the fuel runs down the line and back into the tank. I even like to lift mine up in the air. Okay, just like that. All the fuel clean clears off the line. Now we're going to close the valves. Pick it back up. And it's ready to store again. Just like that. You can wrap your you can wrap your tube around your holes around and then put it back where you got it from 
It has wheels, so no matter how heavy it is, you can just roll it away. This is how I fill up all of my vehicles. All right. So just a quick tip. I hope this is able to help some of you guys because a lot of y'all was asking me about it, but this is it. Just pump it up. Fill up your fuel tank. All right. Left on 73. I love you. And I'm out. I got work to do, so I can't be on here all day today. All right. Y'all have a good one. Be safe. I think we're about ready to go again for another round.